Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In this video today, I'm going to take you through our new e-signing feature. This has been in beta testing throughout December and is launching within the second week of January. So it's just in time for all of your clients to sign their PDF tax returns and to keep those stored on the platform in their folders nice and easily for you. It's also a great opportunity to introduce the client portal to your clients who may have not used it at this point. So without further ado, I'm going to take you into our client engager portal and show you what, how you can use the e-signing feature from your point of view as the accountant or bookkeeper. And then I'm going to show you how the client engages with this. So here we are in our client engager version. This is our demo account. I'm going to go to clients. I'm going to go to client engager online limited as a example for you. What you're now going to notice is under files, there's another, another tab called signing requests. And in here, you'll be able to see if there's any documents that have been sent out for signing to the client yet. Uh, you'll also be able to see whether they've been accepted, rejected, or if they're still pending, and you'll be able to sell, send reminders. So how do we send an e-signing request to our clients? Well, that's really simple. We go to our files, and I'm going to go into a VAT return, for example, folder. I'm going to upload a file. So what's happened by pressing upload file is it's opened my choose folder section on my operating software. I'm going to click select the PDF that I want to upload. Okay, so we're back here. It's got a folder. It's called a label. This is actually a postage label my wife needs me to print off. So I must remember to do that when I've done this video. Otherwise, I will get told off. So we're going to press start uploading. That's it. Nice, quick and easy. That's uploaded. What we're going to do is we're going to click on that folder now. And I'm going to request a sign e-signing. So this is the new bit down here. As always, we can see that it's read readable by the client. It's not writable by the client. See all the information. You can see the preview here. So there you go, Yodel label. And I'm going to request a e-signing. I'm just going to put in here that it's for a return, just for as an example of it okay and you can see right it's going to andrew wainwright who's got the email account connected to this limited company and what we're going to see is if they've not got a portal there's going to be a big oval sign here saying no portal connected at that point there will also be an option to send out a portal invite so what you'll be doing is sending two emails to your clients the first one will be the portal invite and then you can press save here edit the document, uh, edit the email if you want to. However, there is a template in your templates already built for you. And you just press send. And that's it, gone, nice and easy. And that's it from your point of view. Now, what I'm just going to show you, however, is how we can then check that. So first of all, if you know which client you're looking for, you can come into the signing request, which is that new tab I showed you. The document's called a label. It's got a description. You can see who created the document, who the signee is. You can see that the status is pending. You can see whether it's signed or rejected. Now that's bit, that bit's really important. I'm gonna come on to that in a moment. Also, if it's still pending and it's been a few days, you think, oh, the client said, oh, I didn't see that email. Then why not just press send email reminder. And if you no longer need this signing, because maybe they've decided, they've rang you and said it's not quite right or something, you can just press delete, no problems. And remember, e-signing is totally free in this product. You don't have to buy any credits. You don't have to, uh, Pay any add-ons or anything it's a totally free feature so this is the e-signing area other areas you might be able to see it are on your dashboard so we've now created a widget so here we go we've got document signing requests one of that's pending one that's none that are signed none that are rejected and to help ensure we've got access for our clients to see these documents that we're sending them, we're going to be able to, our system highlights if there's any errors. So for example, maybe you've uploaded a document to a folder on the client's portal that doesn't have any visibility rights by the client. So sometimes we have those folders that are hidden away. We want to keep them all in one place and we want our team to have access, but we don't want the client to see what's in them. That's why this warning would come up. You might have requested a document to be signed and not signed a linked person to it. 
and you might have requested a document to be signed and they've not signed up for a portal yet. So that will also be listed here. And again, you can click on these little capsules and you'll be able to see it with the pop-up as to who it's relevant to. So that's everything from our point of view. That when the client does sign that document, what's going to happen is a notification is going to come through saying that your document's now been signed. So it's nice and easy from that point of view as well. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take you through how it looks from a client's point of view. Now, to make that happen, I'm going to be using my own personal client um, portal because I am a client of my firm. So I'll show you what the client portal looks like from a client's point of view and where they're going to see everything coming through. But ultimately, the easiest thing for them to do is just click on that link on the email you've just sent them, and that will take them straight into Client Engager, get them to log in, assuming they've already got their portal, and it will take them straight to the document they need you to sign, or you need them to sign even. Okay, so our first step, well, as a client, from a client's point of view, so I've sent my e-signing request out. The client's had an email. The client's got a proceed here, big bold thing on their email that we can click. That takes you to the client portal. In this case, we're using the on-point accounting portal, which is my firm. So we can uh, log in and go through a client portal. I'm just going to log in here. There we go. So I'm now logging into the client portal as a client. And what's happened is the document that I uh, that you have requested me as a client to sign, because of this system is clever enough, it's been able to bring that straight up in front of me. Right, this is the document my accountant wants to find. There's no rummaging through files trying to work out what is it I do need to sign, what don't I need to sign. I've got it here. There's a description which I put in, in when I sent it, which was the accounts. You could put a little memo here if you wanted them to understand what you need to do. And you've got two choices. You can either sign it or you can reject it. And if it's rejected, it goes back to you and they can tell you why they've rejected it. So, and that's a mandatory field. So they've got to put something in there, even if it's a full stop. But in this case, we're going to sign it. And I'm not going to put any additional comments in there. I'm just going to press confirm. And that's it. That's as simple as it is uh, for e-signing from a client's point of view. Now, what the client can also do in the client portal is they can see the client details, so email numbers and stuff, what marketing preferences they've already selected and what services they've got. And if you've turned on the ability to see what fees are being paid for each service, that will also be here. But each company that each, that client is now associated to can also see any signing requests, whether they're pending, signed, rejected, or all. So what I'm going to do is go down to here, and you can now see that this document was signed by me at this time at this date. And as a client, I can view that document again. And now is a cover, there's a cover sheet on there. So it was signed by myself, the date, creation, IP addresses, etc. So that's all verifiable, and it's been put onto my accounting firm's headed paper, which is quite nice. And then it's just the normal document after that. So it looks nicely presented. You can download that if you need to, send it off to a, whoever the client might want to download and send it off to. But it's nice and easy for them to come in and find signed documents. If it wasn't a signed document, it would just be under folders. So you can see on here, I've got read and upload. So this was in the accounts. So I can go to accounts. And I think it was the 21 accounts. There it is. Yeah, it's there. But because it's something I know I've signed as a client, I can just go, oh, it's in my signed folder. So that's our e-signing feature. We've been testing it for the last month. We've had a huge amount of positive feedback from the clients about the simplicity and the ease of being able to do it or reject something and put a comment on it. It's really speeded up our process of authorizations. We're now authorizing our accounts, tax returns, VAT returns, confirmation statements, everything we really want a, a client to go, yeah, that's fine. Yes, and we want to record that rather than have an email that we need to dig out at some point. We get it all e-signed because it's quick and easy in the client portal. So that's the new e-signing feature. This goes live on the second week of January 2023. We've been testing it for the last six weeks in our firm. It's been an absolute success. The clients are loving it. They're getting lots of positive feedbacks about simplicity, how nice it looks, how easy it is to use, and the fact that if they wanted to reject something and explain why, they don't have to pick up the phone and tell us or anything. They can just put that note in, knowing that we're going to get a notification to tell us exactly why something's been rejected. 
So we hope you enjoy this feature. As always, with any of our features, please do feel free to give us some feedback on it, good and the bad, so we can improve it and maintain it for the future. And any other new feature requests, please let us know. This feature was purpose built because of customer usage and feedback. They people wanted to use and have a e-signing feature within Client Engager. So that's what we've built for you in this case. Thank you very much.